Hey everyone, Cody here. And today I want to talk about something that I feel is very important. And that, that is working with your weaknesses as opposed to against them. And this is mostly based around painting and art. Um, but I think it goes with a lot of things. Now, before I get into that, I just want to say thank you so much. Uh, the channel has been growing quite a bit uh, the last like week or two. Been getting more subs than I normally do. And I'm, I'm very very grateful for every single one of you, especially if you just joined. Um, but I'm super grateful for everybody that's been with me uh, since I only had, you know, a few dozen, few hundred. Very grateful. We're almost to 2K. Uh, if you watch this and we're after 2,000, uh, then thank you anyway. Uh, but we're almost there. I'm trying to upload it before 2,000 to thank you ahead of time. Uh, we I will be doing a Pollock style painting coming soon. So I'm just going to put this out before that. Uh, but I will be doing a Pollock style painting that you guys will get to watch um, as, you know, as the reward for my uh, 2,000 subscribers. So thank you again uh, for everything. Uh, now let's get into the topic of this. And uh, this will be a short video, but I will also upload a painting video uh, today as well so that you do get a painting video um, as well. So I want to talk about, like I said, uh, working with your weaknesses and how you can kind of work with them as opposed to against them. And I'll give you the example that I have. So for me, I know that I don't have a lot of persistence. And I say persistence or perseverance is maybe a, a better word, um, as opposed to patience. So I do have patience in a lot of things. But when it comes to working on the same project for an extended amount of time, I don't have perseverance. I, I lack that um, trait. And it, yes, it is something that I could work on. It is something that I could develop if I was uh, disciplined enough, okay? And I think that a better person would probably be able to discipline themselves to be better at that. However, in trying over the years, I've noticed that I'm not disciplined in staying with one um, project or task for a very extended amount of time. And I've read a lot of books over the years, um, you know, self-growth or personal development and, you know, all of these different things on discipline and, you know, how to be the best by putting in 10,000 hours and all these other things. And I've realized that <laughs> just working on extended products, projects is just, that's just not, I just don't operate well. Now, I, I know some people are better at long game type, type, you know, projects and others are better at short form. And for me, that's me. I know that I, I don't do well on that. And this is one reason I used to write, I've written a couple of books, but it's, it was very hard for me. Um, and I did do it, but I found myself very unhappy in doing it. And I found that, you know, I could write short form things, you know, blog posts or articles better. Now, that's just another example of that. And, and it took me a long time because I would try to go against that, right? I, I would try to go against that kind of innate um, drive to work on shorter projects. And I would force myself to keep coming back to it, keep coming back to it. But the problem is this. One, if I finish the product, it was only because I was rushing through it and not because I was enjoying the process and wanted to have a good result. I would just rush through it to say that it was done. Uh, or I would, you know, or B, to, I don't, I don't know what I started with. Um, but second of all, I would just find that I, I wouldn't finish it most of the time. So I would start a project and I would just not finish it. So I'd write, start writing a book and then I would just get half the way through and just like get tired of working on that project. And then I'd start another one and another one and another one. Well, I used to write before I started painting and I found that that was true, that I, I didn't do well trying to write these books, you know, these 100,000 word books, because again, I would either rush it or I wouldn't finish it. But when I kind of moved to short form writing, I've done blog posts again and, and articles or you know, short form writing where it was like 10,000 words or less, I've done well. I could write a 10,000 word, you know, short ebook in a weekend because I knew that it was just this much, right? 
And so for me, working on smaller projects was a strength of mine. I could do really well and, and, and really excel at short form projects. Well, this transferred into my painting. And when I started painting, I, I did try to make more intricate paintings. And I did try to um, do other things that just weren't me, right? So I would try to make more, you know, extensive paintings and uh, I would just grow tired of it. I would get tired of working on the same project over and over and over and over again. And so what I found over time with my painting and just with myself in general was identifying the fact that I know myself and I won't stick with a project more than a day or a couple days or whatever, not even a week. Like I, I can't even go a week working on the same thing without getting bored of it or and trying to start some other project. And I, I don't know if you're like me where you want to start a bunch of projects and never finish them, but that's how I am. I, I, I feel like there's part of that is, is how I was wired growing up because I saw my parents doing the same thing, but I don't blame them. I've just seen that influence in myself. But now I'm an adult and so I can accept responsibility for that. And I know that that's a weakness that I face. And so that being the case, when I started painting and I started really kind of coming into what I was doing with the gloss enamel paintings mostly, I realized that I had to be able to create these paintings in a single day or else I would not finish the paintings. And this is a large criticism that I receive, that the paintings are simple or that anyone could do them or that a child could do that. And I've talked about this in other videos, but the reason I'm bringing this up is because I don't care. I don't care what other people think about my paintings. I mean, I, I do value their opinion, but I don't care if they just want to bash it. I don't care if they don't like it. You see, I know me and I know what I like to make and I know what my shortcomings are. So that being said, I know that if I can't make a painting uh, in a single day, then the painting's not gonna get made. So the paintings on this channel are a result of knowing my own weakness and working with it as opposed to against it. See, when I used to work against my weaknesses, I would be unhappy or I wouldn't even finish the project because I would just get burnt out, forcing myself to continue. But knowing that, you know, I'm better at short form projects that can be done in a couple of days or a day, I excel because I know that there's an end in sight. So I can push through that real quick and, and be done. And also, I'm able to see results very quickly. So I know within a half hour if the painting is going to be a painting that I like or not. And uh, then I can just kind of move on once it's done. So for me... That's, you know, identifying that weakness and that's identifying how I can work with it as opposed to against it. So the whole point of this video is to challenge you to identify what it is that your weakness or strengths are in the projects that you're doing. And again, this doesn't just ex extend to the painting or the art that, you know, that you see on this channel. This extends to all areas of life. You know, what other hobbies do you have or what other sets at work do you do that you might be struggling with because maybe it's just not a good fit for you? The whole reason I bring all this up is because it, it, it tends to bring a lot of unhappiness. And sometimes we look at the work of others and we think, oh man, if I could just do that. But the thing is, is that we're not wired that way. And a lot of times I think we just kind of compare ourselves to others based on the things that they do or the things that they can do, where we're not readily looking at the gifts that we have as ourselves, but we just haven't identified that thing because we're too busy looking at others or we're too busy trying to fit uh, the way that we do things into a box that isn't right for us. Almost like taking that square peg and putting it in a round hole. It, it might fit given enough time and effort and, and stuff like that. But if it's not a right fit, then why are we forcing it? Why are we forcing ourselves into a box that isn't the right box for us? You know, isn't, you know, is more like a, a prison as opposed to, you know, a sanctuary, like a, a creative space. I don't know. I'm being a little dramatic, I know. But, but ultimately, I wanted to put this out. I just felt 
that I needed to put this video out there to challenge people to really think about how they approach things and do does the way that you approach it match your strengths and how you how it's best for you to go about things um i don't know i can't answer that for you but i just really wanted to put this video out there to really uh get people to think about that like if you're struggling with finishing projects whether it's art or some other hobby or things at work around the house i don't know if you're struggling with that stuff maybe it's because you're trying to do it your your approach is the wrong approach i'm not saying that you shouldn't do that thing only you can answer that but maybe it's the the approach that you're taking that is just the wrong approach maybe you need to take that thing and um you know write out a plan for it if it's a long project or maybe you need to break it down into bite-sized chunks um, that you know that you can do actively uh, today or tomorrow or, or daily to, to kind of get some progress done. I don't know. Uh, again, I'm just going to wrap this video up because I feel like it's kind of uh, rambling at this point. But I, again, I just felt uh, led to put this video out there for anyone who is struggling to finish projects, regardless of where those things are, and maybe just take a different approach to how, that, uh, how you approach those things so that you can start saying, more success and more results with those things and hopefully some peace and in, in, in being okay with who you are as a person and using that instead of as a weakness and comparing it to others or feeling bad about yourself because you don't finish things and in, in flipping it on its head and feeling confident about who you are as a person and accepting that um, that that's just the way that you do things and maybe that's best for you so anyways I uh, thank you again for 2,000 subscribers or almost um, there. And, uh, you know, there will be a painting video. So look out for that. And that's it. Appreciate you guys. I will see you in that other video. Take care, guys. Bye.